It's back, it's smarter, and it sounds better than ever. My name is Drew Kozib, and I've been testing out Apple's second generation of HomePod. In this video, I'll share some of the key features of this model and different ways you could use it in your home. Just in case you're totally new to this product category, the HomePod is Apple's smart speaker. The first version was released in February of 2018, and the small but mighty HomePod Mini came out in November of 2020. Aside from playing music, HomePod has Siri on board, so many of the functions you could ask Siri to do on your phone, like what's the weather, or set a timer, you can also do on HomePod. Let's talk design. HomePod is 6.6 .6 inches tall and comes in two color options, white and midnight, with color matched cables and a color matched touch surface that stretches right to the very edge of the seamless mesh fabric surrounding the speaker. The most important thing you could want from a smart speaker is excellent audio quality, and HomePod certainly delivers this. There are five tweeters in the bottom of the speaker that are positioned with an upward tilt, so the sound waves go outward through the room and not downward onto the table it's sitting on. The technology for the woofer and bass in the new HomePod makes the audio sound astounding. There's an internal microphone that works with the S7 chip to continuously measure the bass EQ. This setup can monitor pressure that's created by the physical movement of the woofer within the HomePod housing and adjust the EQ so you get this full, deep bass that's so clear and never muffled. HomePod also has something called room sensing technology, which listens for the way sound bounces off nearby surfaces and tunes the tweeters and bass to adjust to the conditions of the room. Aside from amazing sound, this speaker is very smart. Siri is on board HomePod, so you can ask the speaker to do things like set reminders and timers or even call friends and family. It can recognize the voices of up to six different family members. This is helpful for things like asking it to play your workout playlist or when your next meeting is. So you get the results that are relevant to your Apple ID and not one of your family members. If you have compatible devices in your home, you can ask HomePod to turn off lights or adjust the temperature or lock the door. And the new HomePod supports Matter, which you can think of as a universal language that smart devices will be adopting so that they can become more compatible. A feature not available at launch but coming in a future update is something called sound recognition. This means your HomePod will be able to recognize if a smoke or carbon monoxide alarm goes off in your home and send you a notification on your iPhone. One HomePod is excellent, but two is even better. If the speakers are in different rooms, you can play music on both speakers as you move throughout your house. You can use these speakers as an intercom system to call a family member to dinner. And your home movie nights will be even better because you can connect two HomePod speakers to your Apple TV 4K to create a stereo pair. Suddenly, your TV becomes a room-filling home theater system. Together, the speakers create this immersive soundstage for your movies and TV shows, supporting Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital 7.1, and Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound. It also has eARC support, which means all devices plugged into your compatible TV, like your game console, for example, will stream through your HomePod. You can also use voice commands to pause movies, find the next episode of your favorite show, and control your Apple TV hands-free. That was a quick overview of the new HomePod. You can use it to control your smart home, interact with Siri, and most importantly, enjoy a premium audio experience for listening to music and watching TV. In my experience, HomePod is one of those things that once you get used to having it, it's pretty tough to go back. Most often, I'm using it to control my Apple TV with my voice, which I always find to be very handy. The most impressive thing to me about the new HomePod is how rich and clear the bass sounds are when you're listening to music. I hope you like this video. I'm still new to longer form reviews. I mostly do shorts and those are mostly very beginner and basic tips. So if you have any feedback or thoughts you want to share on this video, please leave me a comment or reach out on social media. If you feel like subscribing to my YouTube channel, I would be very grateful. And if there are any questions you have, please leave them in the comments so I can incorporate those into future videos. Thanks so much for watching my HomePod video. Hope to see you next time.